Hey Pipers, Calendor coming to you from my backyard this time. And uh, <clears throat> Sunday evening. And I'm smoking some uh, McBaron's Scottish or McBaron's Mixture Scottish Blend. Smoking it in this, in this little pipe here from, uh, I think I bought this from smokingpipes.com. And uh, 29 bucks. And, you know, nice little yard pipe. And it smokes really well so I take her out in the yard <clears throat> I was gonna just kind of show you around a little bit this is a mandarin tree that I have I had it here potted and uh, as you can tell this thing is just about ready to bust out into thousands of blooms and uh, this tree made well last year I think we made about 25 <clears throat> to 30 mandarins on it this is one of my little grow boxes Still have some green onions left over. And we're going to come in and take a few and then we're going to let a few go to seed. Earlier I was out here and uh, fertilizing my blueberries. And I have six blueberries here. Have them in containers. And I mainly did this because I didn't know if I was going to stay here. We had thought we might move. But, uh, We've kind of decided we're going to stay, so I'll have to make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to leave them in these containers or move them. But each of the two of the six here are different varieties, and this is the one that's the latest, and you can still see it's pretty much in bloom, and it hasn't uh, leafed out yet. Same with the one beside it, although this one didn't bloom as much. These middle two varieties are the ones that have grown the best. And I don't know the name. I could look on that card. But uh, <clears throat> you can see they have bloomed out well too. And uh, are in the process of setting fruit. And they, uh, they didn't make a lot of fruit last year. But uh, this year, you know, fertilized them and took care of them and watered them. And, and uh, I believe they're going to make a tremendous amount of fruit this year. You can see there, this one here is just, it's just loaded. <clears throat> Each one of those little pods will become a blueberry. And uh, it's hard to imagine now, but that'll be a, just a cluster of blueberries, like a grape, a uh, cluster of grapes. And these two on the end are kind of a, a variety that... <clears throat> Or in the middle between those other two so kind of got them to where they will bloom and produce fruit in a continuous uh, manner over about three weeks four weeks so as you can tell this is the backyard it uh, I'm sitting on about an acre and a quarter here on this lot so we have plenty of yard and uh, Right there in the middle of the yard is a Louisiana native plum tree. That was here. Well, they had a larger one here. And you can see the stump. That's the remnant. And it got diseased and died. But this is one that I had let grow off of it. <clears throat> and it does well. So I've just fertilized it. We're expecting some rain, so <clears throat> it, it was just loaded last year. I don't know if it's going to be as loaded this year or not. We've got a few other things in the yard. This here is a uh, kumquat tree, and it's done got rather large. And this variety has. The fruit on it is the peel you eat. The peel is sweet, and the pulp is the sour, like a lemon. And kind of in the back corner here, I have my fig tree. And it, it had uh, stayed dormant for a while, and then a couple years ago, really started to take off. So. I've been fertilizing it real well. 
and will as it sets fruit. And uh, got a fairly amount of, of figs off of it last year. This here is my uh, Louisiana navel orange. And uh, actually, this is a tree that my mother in law gave me. And uh, it's always done real well. And it's a little behind that mandarin tree. But as you can see, <clears throat> it's fixing to bust out into full bloom. Now, I don't know if you've ever been around these citrus trees when they get into bloom, but they have the most fragrant aroma. I mean, it's almost perfume-like. <clears throat> so, no wonder the bees are attracted to it. And you can tell in South Louisiana, it's starting springtime. There's my neighbor's azaleas fixing to, well, have already come out. Mine are a little behind his. So, but I just thought I'd get out and show you a little bit of the backyard here. We, uh, I enjoy getting out here and piddling with this. Over here, I forgot, behind the kumquat tree, I'm fixing to till that up and put in about a six row garden. And we'll plant some, plant some more tomatoes, bell peppers, cucumbers, put in a couple row of green beans. And uh, we enjoy it. <clears throat> really and truly, there's a, uh, there's nothing like fresh vegetables. This is my banana tree grove here. I hope it comes back. I mean, we got one of the worst winters here with the coldest weather. So, even if these plants don't come back, I hope they'll come back up from the roots. And there's the remnants of last year's tobacco. And I don't believe I'm going to do any tobacco this year. Tired of fighting with the hornworms. And I told the wife, I said, well, I think you got maybe two more salads, but you better get out here and get this because that's our salad greens. So, from the backyard this time, guys, this is Calendall. Tell nobody to just keep them lit, keep them smoking.